hello it's Sarah and I have an, a few more of these little match boxes to share I did shoot a tutorial of this one when I was making her um, so I'm gonna upload that in a minute after I upload this but I have I used up all my match boxes so I got to go back to the dollar store and get some more because I'm really enjoying these I did some Christmas ones um, and this is from the Nutcracker uh, Christmas paper from Graphic 45. Uh, and then I just used some blues um, again and um, put a snowflake on the back, bead dangles. And these are snowflake buttons. And then inside I put a tree with a star. Oops, squeaky, sorry. So that was what I did for the tutorial, so I made two of those. I did the exact same thing. Uh, well, not exact, you know, but basically the same um, style and everything. So that's two of them. And then I did a, a snowman in the blues, which turned out really cute. I kind of, um, I had made the corks with this paper. This is some Christmas paper that I had that I made the cork uh, Christmas ornaments with. So, and I just put bling on the back because I blinged him out in the front. And um, just put some trims around it, made them look snowy. Um, and some blue and white, I'm loving the blue and white theme. Blue and white beads, some ribbon, and then inside him, I put the white tree with a little bling, a little blue bling on the bottom. So that's turning out cute. So I'm liking these as ornaments. I think if I uh, sell these at my craft show, people will like them. They're different, you know. So then I made a traditional um, red and green here. This is some more of that paper that I got the snowman from. What is that paper called? It's here. I have it. I mean, you guys, every year, this is, every year they come out with stuff. This is, uh, oh, the paper studio. This is from uh, Hobby Lobby. Winter Wonderland, it's called, the paper studio. But, like, there are a lot of little images that I liked that you could cut apart. The stamps, the snowman. Then there was, like, words and everything. So I liked them. Um, yeah, and that's what I used for my, um, like I said, my corks last year. So I figured I could do it on the bottle, I mean on the, on the, um, match boxes too. And these are buttons. I am loving these buttons. Like this is a pack I got too. This is another pack. <clears throat> and this has a candy cane, a couple presents, a Santa, a reindeer. But this is, I think these are from Hobby Lobby too. Dress it up. But dress it up is the, is the brand. They have... Um, let's see, but this was the other ones, the buttons that I got, the snowflake buttons were Art Mines. So these are, I think, at Michael's. But you, you got to check them out, the buttons, because they have these, some of them have um, the button thing on the shank on the back, but some don't, and you can cut them off. I just use my, um, my beading tools and cut them off. I use this thing. So anyway, this is my Santa one. It's Santa and a reindeer, and I think I should make Rudolph. I think I should make that nose red. I think I'm going to make that red. Put a package there, a bow. And I didn't put anything on the back of these, I realized, but that's okay. Um, and then inside this one I have... These are a little tight. Oh, a white tree and a reindeer. That's one of the buttons. And a little star that I put gold stickles on. So that's cute, isn't it? It's like a little... Um, what are those? A shadow box almost, you know? Because they're three-dimensional. So that turned out cute. And a little bell on the bottom. So that's a very cute ornament, I think. And then this is my last one. And I'm going to finish the bead dangle with you on camera. Because in the in the <laughs> tutorial, that part cut off. I guess my battery, or it turned off. And so you missed me, like, finishing the um, wire wrapping. Or it's not wire wrapping, just making a loop. But this one's pretty, too. It's just Santa, and he's holding the candy cane. So I put a candy cane button up here. And a red ribbon. And just some nice, um, like, sparkly, um, you know what that, rick rack on the sides. And this was kind of like a cool color. I like this green. It looked like an old school green. So I like that. It looks kind of, like it matches his pouch a little bit too. So inside that one I put a green package and it says Happy Holidays. And that's from the, um, the paper line too. I just cut that out and put a little red, like, it's like a chain with bling on it red bling because I don't have a lot of red um, em embellishments so let me go ahead and finish this uh, I already put a little joy dangle on the bottom 
So I'll go ahead and string my beads. I always like to start with one of these little um, balls. But you know what? When you're doing this, this pull on here, do not put a little ball on the bottom because it messes you up with your uh, loop. You need to make this really tight. So FYI, that's what I was messing up when I cut that out of the video. But just don't put that on the bottom of, uh, of, of your pull. Take my word for it. It messes you up. All right, so I'm just loading these beads on here, getting a pretty bead dangle. And I'm just going to show you how I do the wrap. It's a very, I think it was Kelly Merton that showed this one time. I'm not like a professional um, beading wrap girl. There's lots of videos that will show you how to do this. But I'm liking this way. This way uh, just works for me. So I actually took this from Kelly. So you make it into an L shape and then I'm going to cut off a little bit because that's kind of long. And then you just take your, uh, these are um, round nose pliers and just start, and I'm doing this around the camera so I hope it goes well, start pulling, bending toward yourself and pushing as you go, like push the uh, pliers into the wire so that it uh, stays tight. And that's it. Sometimes you have that little piece that kind of like sticks out. So I'll cut that off. Just like, oh, if I could see. Boy, my eyes are starting to go bad. All right, there we go. So that little piece came off. And I mean, it's a Christmas ornament. So it's not going to catch on anything. But that's pretty. And then you just take a jump ring. Your, um, these are flat, I guess, needle nose pliers or something. And you can just put that right on the bottom of your... Uh, matchbox and call it done these are so cute and fun to make I'm I'm hoping that I move on to something else because these are so tempting you don't need very many supplies you know everything's so tiny that you can really um, you know you don't need a lot but that looks cute see now he's all done my little Santa I like these I like the Christmas ones so I have two Santas and three in the blue. I think I need to do a couple more in the red and green theme. But these are pretty. People definitely like the blue um, snowflake theme too. All right. So that's my uh, follow up, my little follow up and prequel to the tutorial. So the tutorial will be uploaded soon. And it's with this little box here. If you want to just go along with me, I know lots of you know how to do it. But I had it request all the way from Peru. So I decided to do it. Alright you guys, thanks for watching.